is hentikan lompat pati. We know this is the big problem in our country. You know, we have seen uh, the change of government in the last two years like nothing. It is like a game they play. Is who can seize power. Some even say that there is only two ways they can come to power. One is through election, the other is through defection. It doesn't matter how you win, get power, it is uh, as long as you, you, you get power. So party hopping is going to continue because the incentive is there. There is no law to stop them from party hopping. Every party hoppers will say that, you know, we did not break the law, the law allow it. Now, what we are waiting for is the passing of the anti-party hopping constitutional amendment that will be tabled in the coming parliament sitting next month. Now, we want to see some legal hurdles, if not barrier, you know, if, not, if it's not a, a war that blocked them, at least some sort of hurdle they have to jump, jump over uh, before they bring down a government. So that's what we are looking forward to, the anti-party hopping amendments that hopefully will be tabled finally at the next parliament sitting. But you know, anti-party hopping is not a simple matter. There are other reasons. In fact, there are many incentives why people party hop. Among them is unequal constituency development fund. Now, if you are with the government, you get millions each year. If you are not with the government, with the, with the opposition, in the past, under Parisan National, you get zero. Under Pakatan Harapan, they improve a little bit. You get 100,000 a year to run your constituency. But if you are Pakatan Harapan, you get 3.5 million ringgit a year. So what is the incentive? That's why even after GE voted, the problem of party hopping was there. And we have called it out, we have said it is wrong, but many welcome those who come from Amno to Brasatu at that time. So because of unequal constituency development fund, on top of that, they get appointment to GLC, to cabinet, and all these things. All these things has to change. All these law have to change to take away the incentive. All right? So this is what we are calling for. Uh, the first demand, don't deny our votes. Second demand, stop party hopping. So, tuntutan kita yang pertama ialah jangan nafikan undi kita. Alright, kita perlu mereformasikan seluruh orang pilihan raya. Dan kedua, kita nak hentikan lompatan parti. Stop party hopping.